Ghost player. Let's see. All right. I don't know LS at all. Do you? Uh, I haven't heard of him. I haven't seen him here. He might be a new face. Oh, and to the person that asked uh, why Hootaman isn't coming out, I believe he's actually still in Korea. Mm -hmm. he's, in, he's in Korea. Yeah, he's still in Korea. He's in. Uh, he's there for a little bit longer. I think a few more weeks. Um, but you know what? Going back to the match we're playing right yeah, now, yeah. Ellis actually had a good start, especially against someone like Julio. I mean, you're in the corner. That kind of happens against you a lot. Yeah. But well, Julio has a little bit of unfamiliarity with the Rose matchup. We don't really have uh, a lot of Rose players that come out extremely frequently, and we don't have them at an extremely high skill level to where you know, you're going to have to really learn the intricacies of the matchup, uh, which is unfortunate. But it's pretty even so far. Tries to focus there, not a not a good idea. I know, too bad. Oh, okay. Barely missed a convert there, just got missed the dash punch. But wow, great stuff from LS there. Wow, just, uh, yeah. Really bold because if Julio blocked that, it would have it would have killed Rose. He would have got the free punish. Mm -hmm. But in that situation, yeah, I mean, I guess the gamble was worth it. You're only gambling a couple percent. Yeah, sink or swim yeah. right there at the end. Great stuff from LS. And I mean, just from watching that first round, we can see he's definitely playing a very high level Rose. Great use of the ultra for the pacing. Sure, yeah. You know, just blowing up a couple things that Julio were doing. And, you know, uh, I like this. I mean, I love Julio. He's a great, I, you know, I commentate with him, a great guy, but. It's good kind of seeing the giant fall sometimes. <laughs> of course, yeah. Once someone starts to win and win and win, uh, it's nice to see the underdog come out on top. Especially an unfamiliar place like LS. Of course, yeah. That's going to be a lot of damage Ooh. into a setup. All right, good block on that, but uh, yeah, that dive kick's really tricky. Uh, when you crouch like that, uh, it just makes it more ambiguous. So really, really tough. It's hard to condition yourself to react to just stand. Oh, yes, you have to stand block a lot of these uh, dive. Oh, misses the red focus. Interesting. He did it a little bit late. Okay. If yeah. you do it with almost like a link timing, mm -hmm. then it won't hit. You just have to commit to it. Just do the shoulder, hit the focus. Boom, and lunge, corner pressure. Here comes Julio. Yeah, this is <gasps> oh, it's a terrible situation to be in. It's absolutely terrible. You have to take a really huge risk. And at that point, it's not really going to pay off like it did in the first round, where it's you know either I die or he dies. No, I agree completely. I think one of the great things about Rashawn there, you know, LS was definitely contesting his neutral game. That's what you have to do as Rose against you. But Julio, when he gets in, he's making his mix-up work. He's making his offensive pressure really work. Yeah, his pressure, his rushdown is really, really hard to deal with. It's scary. <laughs> I watch it every time. It's like, oh, and, okay, that time you threw him, that time you blocked. There's a little overhead, another dive kick pressure. But hey, wow, LS, great start so far. I'm all caught up on Julio's pressure, and LS is the one with the pressure. Yeah, this is still his round. Uh, didn't block there on wake up. Okay, messes up the offense. Like, he didn't go for the clean punish there. Julio actually tried to press a button. Yeah, I mean, might as well. All or nothing right there. Yeah. Uh, well, ultra! Yeah, I mean, that was a situation where if he blocked, he would have just died from chip. Mm -hmm. If he backed up, then he could have just died from something else. Rose could just walk towards him and not really overextend herself at all. Especially with so the orbs on the screen, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And then if he ends up blocking eventually, then he dies. You know what? I really think Ellis has a good chance at this. He can keep the neutral game going a little bit more. Well, see, the issue is Julio is just using resources. He's just burning the meter to get in. Sure. And, yeah, once he's in, it's over. So he's making an extremely small investment when you look at it in retrospect. So he's burning a bar just to get in. And, and then the once he gets punch. in, yeah. yeah, and then once he gets in, you know, one mix-up, he has the bar again. So he's really not investing much at all. And you have to say that? Why they make a fun positive one again? Ooh, okay, but here's great damage though. Yeah, this is gonna be huge damage. Goes for the absolute optimal stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. oh. Didn't mean to yeah. push himself into the corner, but... Well, what he tried to do was he wanted to get out uh, of the mid-screen. He tried to get in the corner so that he could use EX Palm, but then he realized that he wasn't going to get it off the focus. <laughs> so then he went for the jump-in combo. Oh, so that's okay. why you saw that little bit of indecision. 